Mm -hmm. um, I'm just reading uh, Mark 8. Mm -hmm. In those days, the multitude being very great and having nothing to eat, yes. Jesus called his disciples unto him and saith unto them, I have compassion on the multitude, <laughs> because they have now been with me three days and have nothing to eat. <laughs> And if I send them away fasting to their own houses, they will faint by the way. <laughs> For divers of them came from far. Yes. <laughs> now, Jesus uh, obviously has compassion on humanity. <laughs> and for all of you that didn't understand, um, I think that science is uh, somewhat prudish. Yeah in their approach to testing for cancer, diseases, and um, illnesses. Now, I've had a look at these pap smears, and they don't really seem to be doing the job. But if you had ovarian cancer, I feel that you would really want to quiver that cervix to make sure that you got all those cells from one side to the other. Yes. And then you would want to grind that pap smear so as to find out if there are any cancerous cells in your womb. Mm. Mm. Now, the medical profession has this idea about health. Yes, we have to have C-sections uh, that uh, cut our vaginal muscle and our cervix channel. Yes, instead of having C-sections in the, the stomach muscle. Right. And we just could not ever conceive of there being some sort of liquid around your bladder yes that can only come out of there if you do certain things <clears throat> now as a man if i found that the woman that i love has an illness yes i would want to have available every available medical procedure yes to prevent her death yes and this compassion on humanity where I'm wanting employees from all nations yeah, that do want to volunteer to be a kind of human filtration system mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to prevent illness, mm -hmm, cancer, and disease. I know that you consider cancer a disease, but it seems to be unexplainable how it is that you get these various cancers and why they're there. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, there are uh, certain requirements for each and every employee and volunteer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to test everything, yes. And I'm going to have compassion on the multitude because it's not just the food that you eat. No. No, no. <laughs> it's what the effect is on your body. <laughs> now, I think... Uh -huh, that uh, Jesus mm -hmm. does have compassion. And even though you might not believe in in my Christianity, mm -hmm. I think we can do a lot better job as humanity preventing any sort of death. Yes. Now, for those in the cancer treatments, the uh, chemotherapies, yeah, the MRI machines, yes. In all those very specialized medical professions that say, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. You have ovarian cancer, and we don't really know a lot about it, but these are the available treatments that we have knowledge of. Mm -hmm. I'd want all the cells of the mucus of the womb on the other side of the cervix. Yeah. And if I have to suggest right now, I would. Now, science keeps saying to humanity, well, we just can't do it that way. I would never suggest that you as a woman could have an orgasm. Mm -mm. I would never mention the availability of all the sexual nerve endings. Yeah. And I would never think that we could be testing a lot more effectively for the prevention of death. Now, I'm going to want to support this five-star charity. Yes. And if it involves a uh, cutting of my eyebrow hairs, yeah, that's what it involves. <laughs> if it's somebody volunteering to clip the toenails, that's what it involves. Yes. If it's a blood test, that's what it involves. Yeah. And if it's any other need, 
I am very much supportive of having compassion. <laughs> now, today, yeah, I like to have my money. Mm. And I like to interview some women. You know, for a lot of you, yes, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to need to measure your naked bodies. In fact, there's one volunteer that I really feel like if I had like one of these. You ever seen women when they, they make different patterns using fabric? Yeah. It's a special type of measuring tape, and I don't know what its actual name is. But I'm going to need you to stand there without your clothes on so I can measure your actual measurements. Now, I would expect that all of the innovations known as the wedge, yes, the quarter shirt, yeah, that has the tightening mechanism on the back of it, yes, the band, oh, <laughs> then there's the corset and the bustier, there's the apron, oh. <laughs> and then there's this idea of what is known as the panty. Mm. Now, there are certain things that I want to reside, resign, or I, I want to redesign. Yes. That could be worn underneath your very conservative outer garb. You know, I find the 1940s and 1950s a very attractive era of America's history. Yeah. And then there's obviously the different kinds of shoes. Exactly what height should be your heel? <clears throat> and then there's the different stockings available. <clears throat> now, I'm going to want some volunteers that are so conservative that are very much involved in their faith. Yeah. That are virgins. And see, I would never break a woman's hymen. No. Unless I was sure we're going to have a baby. Yeah. And I would only do it on the day of ovulation knowing, yeah, that we're going to make a baby and we're going to parent together. Yes, yes, yes. See, some women will volunteer. They say, well, I'm a virgin. I'm 18 to 25 years old. And I'm like, I'm not going. I want you to always be able to say to any man that you make love to that you decide to marry. Mm. I've never had sexual intercourse with a man. I never have. Mm -mm. But mm, if you do with me, mm, we're going to have a preconception agreement, aren't we? Yes. We're going to agree that we will get pregnant within a certain number of orgasms. Yeah. <laughs> And if we don't, we are not going to have a relationship that results in a baby. No. Mm -mm. So we need to be sure about what we're volunteering to do. <laughs>